All right, guys, happy Wednesday. We've got some Olympic lifting work to do today. Uh, we're going to start off with 15 minutes to build to a heavy set of a max power clean into a max squat clean, OK? These are not touch and go reps. Uh, so every rep is going to start from the floor. Remember, feet right under the hips. Step up to the bar. Get that hook grip on the bar. Pull your chest up. And a power clean means we're not going to squat. So slow past the knees, jump, catch, stand. OK, you can drop the bar. Take a second to reset. Set yourself up. Hook grip. Chest is up. Into a squat clean and stand. All right. So this is fun because uh, a power, right? We can really focus on getting good extension and power on the bar, receive it, and reset. And we go to the second rep, we're a little more tired, so we're not going to be as powerful, but we can squat. So if you can't get that bar as much energy on it, you can drop under the bar, pull yourself down, and stand up. OK? Uh, so we're going to build up to a max for the day. Really focus on big chest the whole time. Focus on getting good contact off the thighs. For the newer athletes, we always recommend breaking this up. So newer athlete, address the bar, set yourself up. Just do a deadlift up. And then from the hang, focus on hips back, jump, OK? And then floor, stand, OK? If you're not comfortable in that squat position, feel free to do two power cleans. That's our strength. And we get to the condition, and you're going to see we're going to use this as a baseline to figure out what weight we want to use in the workout. So let's talk about the conditioning. All right, guys, we got a fun little short workout today. Eight minute cap. It's going to be three rounds of a 200 meter run and then five cleans. You can do power or squat, up to you. Uh, the general guideline here is 75 to 80% of what you did in the strength portion. So this should be heavy. This should not be a gimme. You got to focus every rep. The prescribed weight is on the heavier side of what we do normally. So again, this is a, a great time for the more experienced athletes to challenge themselves with a heavier weight than they do normally in a workout setting. Uh, but use that first part as your guideline. Eight minute cap. I'd recommend for those that are not fast runners, even feel free to scale the run distance down, maybe 100 meters per round, because uh, so, it's meant to be fast, uh, relatively only five reps in the squat clean. So have fun with this today, and we do have finishing work. Hey guys, so our finishing work today, two small segments, uh, four movements that we're going to cover. So the first two are uh, lateral dumbbell raise, so standing tall, you're just going to lift OK, these should be light. We're going to range of motion, control up and down. From there, you're going to combo that with a barbell um, bicep curl. So again, work on range of motion. Try just to pull from the, the arms, meaning don't swing. And also, a lot of people, last time we did this, they never straight their arms. So really work range of motion, OK? 15 reps there. After three times through that, you're going to go to um, two other movements. So heavier dumbbell for this will be single arm overhead press. OK, 10 each side. Again, belly tight, good extension at the top, 10 each side. And then for the next drill, super lightweight. Remember, we have like one pound little like plates, or use the two and a half pound plates if you need. Uh, you got to set yourself up uh, in a prone position that's elevated. OK, and it's going to be uh, I, Y, T. So just think about the letters I, then Y, and then T. Okay, you're going to do that eight times through. So that's a lot of reps. So again, that should be light. Really work in that top range of position. Try not to swing it. Um, and that's our finishing work for today. See you Thursday.